Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grant from Grant and Shelby here today with another barbell box. This is the May barbell box. Really excited to open this up. This is like super heavy. Um, I want to say probably weighs, let me see, let me check. Yeah, it's pretty close. Honestly, it's about 10 pounds. I, I, it kind of feels a little bit like 10 pounds here. So there's a ton of stuff in here which we're really excited about. Um, but I want to give a real quick breakdown for you guys. For those of you guys who don't know, Barbell Box is a fitness subscription box. It costs roughly around $35 to $40, depending on shipping. Um, Barbell Box is a Canadian company, um, so um, you get a lot of interesting things in here compared to the US stuff. Um, what I really, really like about these guys is that they typically give you a full serving of something. So I've gotten BCAs before, I've gotten a bag before, I've gotten some, I believe like gingerbread pancakes. There was one time, um, some pancake mix. Um, I've gotten pre-workouts, I've gotten a ton of stuff. So very excited to open this up um, and uh, kind of do an unboxing for you guys. And then typically what I do is that I go over all of the items in here and kind of give my initial thoughts on like the pricing and seeing if it's worth it or not. So without further ado, gonna open it up. Wow. You can already tell that it's packed to the brim on this one. Whoa, looks like we got a spill of some sort here, but that's okay there. Uh, looks like one of them kind of opened. Something that opened in here, but um, Okay, well, let's go ahead and go over all of this stuff. You know, it is unfortunately a little bit dirty, but that's not not honestly a bad thing. Oh, I don't know. Gotta tell it's a little bit powdery, but um, this is the full serving that you get. It's Extend Energy BCAs. So what's really interesting is that they gave uh, Extend BCAs last time. Um, this one just has a little bit of caffeine, quote unquote time release. Blue raspberry, I didn't mind the taste of the other one. Um, it kind of tasted a little bit more artificial, so I'm hoping this is a little bit better, but um, this is similar to like what you'll get with, um, uh, I think it's On Energy or Amino Energy, so um, super intrigued to try this out. I'm not sure if you guys can see though. There is, it's a little bit. Like, you're gonna see the products, but like, kind of see that it's all dusted and everything. Something probably, something probably happened with packaging. Um, don't know, but uh, looks like there's also some ISO gold. And it's kind of sticky, man. Um, ISO gold. It smells like it's one of these. Um, ISO gold protein. And it looks like they're 27 grams of protein with 17 grams of. EAAs, BCAAs, and glutamine. Wow. Uh, they're triple milk chocolate flavored. Very cool there. Uh, definitely won't be trying these out because uh, I'm not a huge fan of milk. Um, not, a huge, not a huge fan of milk, not a huge fan of chocolate uh, proteins, but probably will give some of these to Shelby to try them out. Then we've got um, non-stem. I'm assuming this is some sort of like pre-workout or something like that of um, subject zero, we got four packets. Man, these are like sticky and powdery and all that other stuff, but um, pink starburst, which is um, interesting flavor. Uh, probably will be trying these out. Been wanting to do some non-stem stuff just to kind of give reviews for them, so. Can you see that? I've been wanting to try these out. Oh man. It's just sticky. But I've, I've wanted to try these out. It's white Joko, Joko, blah, 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 Joko white tea pomegranate. Um, I've heard decent things about these. Um, you know, it's like a, just a, almost just a tea that has some caffeine in it. So um, I've heard so, so things about it. Um, intrigued to try them out. And it looks like we got, oops, looks like we've got two of them. And then we've got Discipline Go for capsule sizes. Again, these are pre-workouts, so I'm not sure if you guys saw on the channel um, the DAC flavor, the black cherry vanilla flavor. It was absolutely gross, but um, these are the pre-workouts that are in capsule form, so it's gonna be a lot easier um, to uh, take. Definitely will be doing another video for that as well. 
And then we've got four packets of Aminos, Blue Raspberry. Uh, looks like it's from Gear, Mutant Gear. I don't, never heard of these guys before. Uh, but the packaging looks really dope. So um, definitely we'll be trying these out too and doing another reaction on these. So um, yeah, they gave me a lot of a lot of cool stuff. My initial thoughts here is that very, very cool. It just, it sucks because it's all sticky. Um, must be one of the proteins. Hold on a sec, let me get. So initial thoughts on the products themselves. I mean, I really like the products. So like they, they definitely catered to um, someone like me, which I definitely like. Um, you know, the protein is not really my thing, which that's totally okay. I typically do some sort of flavor that's not really normal whenever it comes to protein. Um, and then they gave a lot of energy stuff. They gave um, really cool BCAAs. So super excited about all this stuff to try out. Um, they gave me enough sample sizes to like, you know, hand it out to friends, give other people, re uh, give other reactions and things like that. So, or to even try, um, more um, and try to see if like a day or two, um, you know, doesn't really kick in or it doesn't really feel in until like day three or day four or whenever you take it. So um, anyway, um, you guys know on the channel, we'll be breaking this down off of like price range to see if this is worth it or not. One thing to note is that the Canadian dollar is again, less expensive compared to the US dollar. So it's roughly around like 75% of the total US dollar. So I typically round it with like 75 cents um, of US per Canadian dollar. So um, with that in mind, let's go ahead and break down a little bit of this. Uh, so we've got the Jocko white tea. Um, the, that's quoted to be $8 Canadian. So you're looking at $6 US. Um, you know, that is definitely worth it. Um, it seems like a decent decent price, a uh, little bit steep compared to like an energy drink, but at the same time, it's super unique and different there. Uh, Jocko Discipline Go um, with Origin Labs. Um, so the pre-workout there, that's quoted to be $8 Canadian. So again, $6 for four packets, which you have three capsules in, and which you can take one, two, three. So, um, and now that is per day. So, I mean, you can, you can take you can probably, you know, prolong it all the way until like you're looking at 12 days worth. And so with that price, that's that's pretty good amount. Um, I I would highly recommend that. And that's I, I definitely see that at that as that price price point. Blah, 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 blah. Ascend subject zero. You're looking at eight dollars Canadian. Again, that is six dollars US. Um, yeah, I can see that. Um, Non-stem is actually typically cheaper because of the caffeine, you know, they put more into it. And then on top of that, not many people really buy non-stem. So I would honestly put it closer to like a dollar per packet. So you're looking at $4. Um, you know, whenever you're looking at one serving sizes, that seems again, a little bit, little bit um, expensive because of typically what you get for like, I see for whenever you're buying like a full full tub of it or something like that, right? Um, it's within the cents. It's not within the dollars. So um, I think that that's a really good price point to look into is four dollars um, with, with that. Gear by Mutant is an EAA and uh, it's eight dollars Canadian. So it's roughly around six dollars right now. Um, it seems like there's their full serving sizes. So. Again, it's a little steep there. Um, for BCAAs, you're typically doing, again, under a dollar, so like probably 75 cents, because it's typically like a Gatorade of some sort. So I would kind of put it at that range there, and then with the combined of that, you're looking at like $3 with, with 75 cents each. There, then we've got the ISO Gold. That is $8 Canadian, and again, $6 US. Yeah, I think that that's a really good price point there. Um, it seems like there is a lot of filler in here. So um, these are kind of more for uh, some people who are trying to gain mass than actually like get some sort of lean and clean type of stuff, um, which it doesn't mean that glutamine and all that other stuff is clean, but it's just, there's a lot more to it compared to like a standard isolate or looking into like protein. That's typically what I look for whenever I, I do buy protein is like the protein to actual scoop size. And so I try to get as close as I can with that. Um, and it seems like with this one, it's just, it's a little bit larger than normal, but totally okay. 
And then last but not least, we've got the Extend Energy with BCAAs. Uh, they're quoting this to be $40 Canadian, in which we're looking at $30 US. So that's an okay price point. Um, you know, you typically see Extend at Walmart. You see those type of brands there. Um, $30 for BCAAs is a little bit expensive because you can go on to you know, Amazon and get a full tub similar to that for about like 15 to 20. I think a $25 is a good price point. Um, 20, 20 to 25, so um, I'm gonna put it at the high end though. It's just because of Extend is a little bit better compared to like Amino Energy or things like that. So, all right, if we were to break this all down, looking at my prices here, we're probably looking at $46 of US. So uh, I am getting my money's worth, which is good. Um, you know, you're getting over, over the hump there. Um, and my initial thoughts on this, you know, unfortunately my box did not really do well in shipping. Um, but that's completely okay because since a lot of this is packaged, so um, which is nice there. And my thoughts on on all of this is that it's it's definitely good for for more supplements, focusing on more supplements. They're so looking at people who are typically at home right now, so who are looking to like get a little bit more pep in their step. It's still a little bit less than what you typically get, um, so. Yeah, if I were to rate this box, I would give it, I would give it a B minus. But then if we're looking at with the shipping situation here, I'm probably looking at closer to a D plus. Um, it's just because of everything's really sticky, so I'm having to wipe everything down. But B minus whenever it comes to the products themselves, D plus overall, um, just because of, yeah. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. So I do like like how they brought in, again, different products, like I haven't heard of this ISO Gold, but then I have heard about Extend, Jocko, and then the Ascend as well. So they're definitely bringing in products that are from previous boxes, and then they're also bringing in completely new stuff as well. So um, that is definitely a plus there. Anyway, what did you guys think about the video? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you feel like there was something missing? Please put it in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.